Do 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 do. It's a crossover. The Freddy and Franny, Franny? the same player, and now it's really Wait, exciting because they've got the right two different interview with Blackpool's board. <laughs> Franny's been sacked. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, Franny! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I can't take Franny's job, can I? Or can I? How do all ladies and gents, welcome to York City Football Manager part, whatever number part this is. I'm of course declining that interview, why would I make a step downwards? And uh, we... <laughs> We're sitting pretty decent once again in the league. We were down to, I think, 7th by the end of the last episode. And uh, I'd love to be able to say the performances have picked up and we're back into the top three. But realistically, um, that isn't the case. That we The results have picked up. The results are far better. We haven't lost, actually. I didn't notice it was this good. We haven't lost since the last episode. Now, what I did after the last episode is I arranged a friendly against Tadcaster. This is a tactic that I've used throughout Football Manager. Uh, when my team's doing badly, a ranger friendly at home against a really shit team and uh, just put them to the sword and get everyone a good rating. Now the main idea was to try and get a good rating for my two strikers who were really out of form and uh, yeah, that didn't really work. But the rest of the team, barring Madison who just stood around, the rest of the team had excellent ratings and that actually did kickstart a much better defensive performance from the team in general. Uh, as we actually went a run of three more games without conceding. We beat Coventry at home in the Checker Trade Trophy. I love saying that. Checker Trade, Checker Trade. <laughs> Cowgill and Whittle, Whittle, two defenders with the goals, you know, going on from the last game where they got back to performance. Chris Atkinson was excellent. Uh, Notts County, now these, again, it's tempting to look at this run of green and a bit of orange and think, wow, really good run. We've not played well. Uh, these performance ratings are actually a little flattering. This game was shit. Uh, we got a penalty on the hour mark and Joe Piggott stuck it home and that was about it for the game. Good defensive display again. Uh, that's a common theme. Gillingham away. Great defensive display. Jack Cowgill and Sonny Bradley. Uh, Alice Will didn't have a great game. That's another, that He's fallen off a bit. And uh, with Joe Maguire in, have I showed you him yet properly since he joined? I don't know that I have. He is very good, and my co coaches are shitting themselves over how good he is and how good he could be. And he has actually played in the last few games, and he's done pretty well. Uh, Alex Whittle, a hero of this team, is in a bit of jeopardy here. Uh, this game was shit. Uh, the goal came right at the beginning. It was an own goal. It was a typical FM own goal. You know, where a cross comes in, and the keeper's got it easily, but the defender deflects it in. Yeah, I hate those fucking crosses. Hate them. I've had a few of those and I've given a few of those away. Another really shit game, but good performance from the defenders. This one, uh, Joe Piggott had a good game. Uh, Connolly super sub came on uh, at about seventy fifth minute and scored immediately for the for the win. Uh, Andy Little had a poor game apart from his goal, but he scored at least. Defense kind of fell off a little bit. Jack Cowgill in particular. But we won. It's another three points, and I'm just I'm not confident about the performance in this team. Is the main problem. Uh, went ahead early through Joe Piggott. They went back to two one ahead. We got one back. Little. We should have won this game. We didn't. Uh, Steven and Jim are not one of the better teams in this league. And to only draw two all with them at home is not a good result. Jack Cowgill falling off dramatically by this point. But a goal for each striker and an above seven rating better. Until and a little had a six point two. Cassidy came in. Because uh, he was moaning about not playing and wanting to actually wanting to leave, but I don't want to lose him, so I'm giving him a run in the team, and he scored in the first game I gave him. Uh, Aidan Connolly got another goal, came in and scored again. Uh, Sonny Bradley scored an on goal for them, unfortunately, but his rating was still better than Magoma. I bought Magoma in because Jack Cowgill fell away a bit. He hasn't really lit the world on fire. Uh, Sean Hood had a good game. Alex Will had another poor game. Forest Green. They got promoted with us last season. We had never beaten them prior to this game. I just noticed that when I was on the preview screen. They had three draws and two defeats. Finally got one over them. A really poor game. <laughs> really, really bad. Sonny Bradley had an excellent game. As did Andy Little. Fucking finally. 
scored the only goal of the game quite early on, but missed a couple of chances to be honest, and just it was generally a poor game. I don't know what Sonny did to get a 7.9. Um, but he's looking an absolutely key player uh, in this team at the minute. His last five ratings, uh, that's not on the screen. <laughs> His seasonal ratings add up to 7.15 though. And yeah, he's been fantastic. Now then, I do like my cup competitions. I'm not going to lie to you, I started the episode here because of the Blackpool job offer. Because I had to make a skit of it. That didn't know How could I not? But I'm also quite happy to start here because... Check a trade trophy, I love saying it. Third round north. We win we're a cup winning and a league winning team already just one season into this save. And I would love to keep that going. So I want to make an actual effort to try and win the Check a Trade Trophy. Not just the northern version of it, all of it, the whole the whole shebang, the whole thing. Two Wembley trips in two years would be excellent. Uh, I'd rather not do it in a playoff though, although that is also a possibility. Bit of a string of away games coming up. Um, and then we're into the final stretch of the season. So let's have a proper look at the league table. And it is tight as a nun snatch. I mean, I said that in the last episode. I need to I need to get a new, new word for tight. But anyway, it's really tight at the top. And the reason being is because the team with the most wins have only won half of their games. Now... I know winning half your games is impressive, but I mean, normally the teams at the top of the league have won more than half. I mean, if you look at the real-life Premier League table now, I'm just going to get it up just to check in case I'm wrong. I don't think I am, but I might be. Premier League table. Uh, Chelsea sit atop that, having won 19 out of 24, all but five. So to only win half of your games and be at the top of the league is kind of poor. I mean, when, if you look at 12 and 11 wins or 10 wins as well, you can go down all the way to 10th. And up until the last game, where a couple of teams did poorly in this session here, uh, there was actually two points separating first and eighth. Uh, that obviously that can't have been our game ago. It'll have been that'll have been about two or three games ago. But even the last game, uh, I think Cambridge and Crew both drew, and there were still five of us, like right in together. And with a lot of games left to go, I mean, what is this a? 46 game season? Yep. 46 game season. 20 games to go. More than Almost half the season to go. And uh, we're still third. It feels like at the beginning of every video we've been third in the league. Some bad news there. Backup striker Ryan Brunt is injured for 7 to 8 weeks with a sprained ankle. And I've already got two other strikers. Skopitis, who hasn't been fit at all since I signed him. And uh, Jason Williams has a virus, so I might struggle to fill the bench. And I have been scouting a few players, and I might make a couple of signings, but realistically, I don't have the money to make any real improvements to the squad. I'd just be kind of bolstering it with similar players to ones we have already. So I don't know that I'm going to make uh, any signings. I mean, anyone that would be a good signing, look, such as uh, Shemlal here, looks like it'd be a good signing, but he's going to cost way too much. We can't afford to be paying out that kind of money. Even if we could maybe get it, get our hands on it, we well, definitely don't have money for Kenji Go. Why did I scout him? Um, even if we could get our hands on that kind of money, we could maybe afford 70 grand, maybe. But I don't know if it's worth doing because it'd just be. He's got good finishing, good dribbling. Actually, he looks very good indeed. Apart from the physical column, he's only 24. Ideal position is a winger. I would want to play you as like a shadow striker or advanced playmaker. Although that would be wasting your dribbling and finishing, so maybe shadow striker. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if making signings at this point uh, in the winter window with our finances the way they are is the best idea. Uh, this season we've made a profit, but even with all the TV money that comes with being in the Football League, it's not enough for a profit to outdo the deficit from last season. Um... Profit this month of three grand. Overall balance of seventy five grand. I know they've given me one hundred and twenty five grand to spend, but I don't really want to. And I'm actually going to let go a lot of uh, players. And there's just a lot of contracts I'm not going to pick up. Um, let's see if I can get a list of them for you. Essentially, it's anyone that I put up as listed because I might as well try and get money for them while I can. Uh, Simon Heslop not going to picking up his contract. Uh, he's got a few. He had a good run of games, but then got a very serious injury. And he's just never come back into the team. I don't really think he's good enough for this level. Uh, 
Matt Fry, I'm going to get rid of. Uh, he, he, just look, look at the stats. He's got good physicals, but not really anything else. Uh, Jack Higgins did a job at the beginning of this save, but he's fallen away rapidly and just is not good enough. Could be, he's, he just has never been fit, and now he's, he's 22 and his stats are starting to dip, and I'm just going to have to get rid. Um, Michael Taylor, I'm not looking to get rid of, but I'm looking to loan out. I'd actually forgotten I'd sign this uh, this youngster. Uh, he's got good potential. He's a winger, so I don't use him at the minute. But he could play it right back. I've been trying to train him. Um, his tackling is a decent enough starting point for a 19-year-old to become maybe decent right back. So I'm going to loan him out. Brody, 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 Brody will be leaving at the end of the season. It just isn't good enough uh, to compete at this level. His finishing is decent and his heading's okay. But other than that, he just doesn't have it. Uh, he's played in one game against Chorley FM, and you know how that went. So he will be leaving at the end of the season. Uh, Jason Williams is another one that I'm just not going to pick up. I haven't used him. He was great last year. He came on. He was a super sub last year. But he just hasn't done it this year. I haven't given the chance to, but he just hasn't shown as, as being good enough. Um, chicken as well. Excellent physical stats but it just it doesn't have enough elsewhere to be good enough to play in this level and uh, to say he's played quite a few games in more advanced positions to have one goal in 31 appearances is not good enough so he too shall be leaving and I think that's it oh no Bobby Bobby Mosley uh, just I don't like how many red cards he's got and I've signed a better left back now so see you later mate and last but not least Kyle Leatheran he keeps money that he doesn't play enough uh, he's not as good as Johnny Madison so he can leave as well. And I believe that is it. <laughs> the board want to have a meeting with me to discuss extending my contract. We'd like to gauge your opinion on whether discussing a new contract. Fantastic idea. People have been offering me interviews and uh, declaring interest in me. So uh, yeah, get me on a new contract, boys. I'm happy to stay here. This, this series is called I Do Love Yorkshire, not I Do Love Elsewhere. And here's Michael Duckworth, uh, someone I have managed to sign. Uh, got him for a fee of 35 grand, which is not very much for how good he is. Uh, 950 quid a week, which is far less than what he was initially asking for, which means I have had to give him quite a lot of stuff here. But he looks like a good backup right back because Josh Robinson is one I forgot to cover just then. He, <laughs> he isn't going to get a new contract either. Uh, Danny Barbier's loan has terminated, and I'm not going to pick up Jack Cowgill for another year. Um, just thought I'd lay those out there as well. I did a lot more in the interim between these episodes than I realised I had. But anyway, Michael Duckworth. He looks like a very good full-back attack to me. Um, he's got all the technical ability. Tackling's a little low, but he's got good technique, marking, passing, first touch, dribbling, crossing, all very good. His mentals leave a bit to be desired. But at 25, he has time to improve them. And he's got pace, he's got fitness, stamina. Uh, everything is double figures in the physical column, which is always good. And he looks like he'll be a very good, um, maybe not backup, maybe maybe not replacement either though, just a competitor for Sean Rooney, who is one of the best players in this team. But competition in every spot is crucial. And so in you come, Michael Duckworth. And here we go. So transfer budget is now going to be lowered to 90 grand. I'm fine with that. League expectations avoid relegation. We're in third. I'm fine with that. Um... Wage budget's fine. Oh, transfer budget's gone down because I just spent some of it, actually, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> no good philosophies or board requests. That's fine. I'll accept that. So, they offer offered me a new contract. They're going to pay me one and a half grand a week. How much are they currently paying me? Exactly that. Uh, a two year contract. I want three, please. I want three, please. I want three, please. I want three, please. They're not going to give me three. Ah, fine. Two year, two year extension is all right. Two years, two year contracts good. Uh, bit of job security, uh, bit of series security for YouTube. Um, not as much as I was hoping for though. I never looked at Duckworth's history, but it's telling me here that this is second spell at, at York, so he's been here before. Let's have a quick look. Uh, oh, a long time ago, he's a York youth player. Never played. For the team, since been to Harrogate Railway, Bradford PA, Hartlepool, and then Fleetwood in League One, um, but didn't really play all that much for them and didn't play that well. And now he's here with me, and I'm going to get the best out of him. This is your, is it, is it his hometown? Let's have a quick look. Da -da 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 -da, that is on 
overview information. Place of birth is in Germany. Wow. That's cool. It's for in German. Did not know that. What do you mean I don't research players for a sign? Of course I do. Don't be silly. So the team for this game is going to be Madison. Uh, I would have given uh, my new right back Duckworth a uh, debut in this game, but he's cup tied, so I can't. Rooney will start then. Uh, McGomer and Bradley at centre backs, so who've both been doing okay lately, uh, in particular Bradley. Uh, Will can have a chance in the team to get his form back. He's been very poor lately. Uh, Whiteman has made this swat his own head of Clovis in Anchorman. He's been excellent recently, despite what this says. He, he does sweep a lot of things up and he launches a lot of attacks for us by winning the ball. Um, Atkinson, that place is his. Given Whelan a uh, game, uh, young Callum, he hasn't played all that much. I think he's made four starts. This will be his fifth start, giving him a chance in the first team. Uh, Kyle Kopp, similarly. Uh, I mean, Aiden's been phenomenal recently. He's coming with loads of goals, but I'm giving Kyle a go. Uh, maybe not on Shadow Striker, actually. I might switch this to Advanced Playmaker Attack, which he's more comfortable at. And uh, Little and Cassidy up front, which has become the new partnership lately. Joe Piggott fallen out of the team and in fact with that in mind then I will actually play Piggott let's give, let's put him back in for a game just made that decision on a whim let's hope he doesn't bite me in the ass and for today's games in this episode I am going to be playing on 2D Classic now that's partly to see if there's any negative feedback on the video because I this is how I play normally and also because my computer is uh, updating a couple of different things at the minute and I don't want to I want to put as little strain on it as possible because I, I fear for the frame rate in 3D <laughs> at the minute with what my computer is currently doing in the background and I know you're thinking why not just record this later well because it's uh, currently Saturday early afternoon in fact it's getting towards late afternoon I need to be cracking up <laughs> Okay, first highlight, early on, Rooney with the throwing for us, Atkinson, good ball, Cop, Andy, Atkinson, Whelan's a bit of space there, Callum, here's Whittle, come inside, deflected, sh oh, that, is there a keep called Apple Yard, that's an excellent name for a start, but that A, looked heavily deflected, and B, did the keeper just kind of stand and watch it go in? I'm going to want you to see this in 3D, uh, when the highlights load. It doesn't look that bad in 3D, but anyway, here's Whittle, right foot strike, which is not a strong suit for him. It deflects. Oh my days, that's so bad. <laughs> that's so bad. Oh, oh but yep, yeah, one nil up away from home, so we'll just drop the full bats back a smidgen. Just a little bit, not a lot. Just a little bit, ooh, uh, a little bit more. Sorry. No, I'm not. Oh, free kick for them, Finney. Well done, Rooney. Come on, Piggott, chase that. Unlucky, man, unlucky. Okay, press out. Come out a bit more. Come out a bit more. Don't drop deep. Don't drop deep, Magoma. If you're going to drop deep like that, you need to win the header. You can't drop deep like that so that they can come in and then lose out the header. That's very poor, Magoma. Very, very, very poor. And they are back in it. And uh, I might change my fullbacks back. In fact, yes, I will. Ah. Uh... Well, upside, Alex Whittle's rating is 7.5, which is, I'll put him in, back in the team to try and get him a better rating. Uh, Andy Little's been abysmal, though, so I'm actually going to take him off. This is a cup game. I know I said I want to win this cup, and it would be nice, but the league is still the priority. So Andy's played poorly, um, so Cassidy can come in. And uh, in terms of the halftime team talk, calmly can still win. That didn't really work. Let's go passionate faith, then. That's kind of my go-to these days. Alright, Sansara, that's a nice name as well. It's like something out of Game of Thrones. Uh, Cooper, Davis, Cumley. Really win that, good man. Win that wheeling, excellent stuff. Come on, Joe, knock this down, keep hold this up a bit. Good stuff, Cop, Atkinson. Wheeling, what you got? Spread it for Alex, good man. Here's other Alex. No, it's not. That's the Alex I mentioned. Never mind. I'm going mad. Oh, Cassidy's through. Composure. This this is a recurring theme with Jake Cassidy. He has no composure for a goal for a striker. Um, I'm going to look in a second what his composure rating is, but I feel like this happens all the time when I play him. He just snaps at chances. I mean, this has been deemed worthy of the replay. I wouldn't say it is. That's abysmal. Jake Cassidy has composure of nine. I'd actually say that's generous on what I've seen. Okay, chance for them. Kirk with a corner. Finney with a header. Oh, it's trickled all the way to the back post and they've tapped it in. And as it stands, we are heading out of the cup. Let's go attacking. We've got our target man on, so we can go attacking. I hope that it works. Come on. 
All right, talk to your screen, please. So what more can we do here? Uh, I'm gonna bring Aiden on for Ooh, Atkinson, and then bring Cop backwards and set him to advanced playmaker on attack in there, and then set you to shadow striker. Um, I will also chuck on O'Hanlon for Whelan. Sorry, Whelan, but just a bit. He's got that bit more quality than you. And we will uh, obviously go into attacking. We will go we'll not go pump the ball into the box. We'll go more direct passing now, more expressive. Run at the defence, not shoot on sight. No, just high tempo. Get stuck in. Now let's fucking go. All right, here we go. Rooney. Can the changes work immediately? Cop Connolly O'Hanlon. Connolly, bit tight in there. Cop O'Hanlon, Connolly, they've worked it really well though. Cassidy, oh, why are you going that far back? Find Rooney. Come on, Ben. Oh, you're taking too long, mate. Here's Rooney, what can you do? Decent ball, Piggott is brought down by George Ray. It's a penalty, I think Piggott will be the man on it. No, he's not going towards the ball. Who is? 16, it's Ben. Have I set penalty takers up? I know I took, I keep having to take people off him because I keep missing him. And I remember I cleared it. I can't remember if I set it again. In fact, we no need to really watch this. Let's have a quick look. Uh, I've set it as Ryan Brunt, Ben Whiteman. What, so what's Ben's penalty taking? Penalties 11, composure 12, finishing 10. He should be decent. Although Joe Pro Piggott would probably be better. Let's throw him there and hope that it <laughs> comes to him. Uh, no, it isn't going to. It's too late. It's going to be Ben. Come on, Ben. You got that composure. That's the key trait, I think, in penalty taking composure. Come on, mate. Good penalty. Very good penalty. Well put away. Gonna cancel those changes then. Ben can keep them if we get another. 2 2. Do we need to stay on attacking? Yeah, fuck it. No, actually. <laughs> change that. Does anyone change their mind as quickly as me? Oh, Kyle. Oh! Oh, he's so good at free kicks, and that's nearly another one to add to his collection. He's got a few for us already. In his limited appearances, that's a great effort. Keep fouling us around the edge of the box while he's on the pitch, guys. Oh, dear. Corner for them. We've switched to the winter ball, because it snowed. That's cool. It's Kirk. Captain Kirk. And they've scored. It's Wintle. So we're going to have to go on to overload now. Um, going to leave those instructions the same. But it's looking like we're going to go out of this cup. And I'm going to drop my mic again. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've gone out. Fuck's sake. Why did, why, did, why did I say that at the beginning about wanting to win this cup? As soon as I said that, it was nailed on that we were going to lose this match. Um, passionately tell them we played alright, because they did. And I don't really give a shit about this, and I don't want to risk demotivating them by telling them they were bad or anything. Um, so we're out of all cups. So we can just focus on the league now, which is, I guess, good. I mean, every remaining game we have is League 2. Um, I would like to have had a shot at some silverware, but we kind of do have a shot at the League 2 silverware. I mean, we're only three points off the top with... Ooh, with a game in hand. Ho, 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 ho. Okay. The, uh, I'm guessing the game in hand is the Exeter game, since they're the only team with 26. Oh, no, Cheltenham are down there and Plymouth, but we do have Exeter, I think, next. So they're in 10th though, and it's away, so that won't be an easy game. But if we can win it, we'll go second on goal difference. Okay, alright, no pressure. So there's that game in hand against Exeter. Um, after this Grimsby game, I'll have this one. Uh, the game in hand, so yeah. Two big games, if I can, I think it's two away games in the league in a row. Grimsby and Exeter, 15th and 10th. So, you know, middling teams, the pair of them. If I can win both of those, I'm in an extremely strong, strong position. If I lose both, we're looking at playoffs. Big couple of games. Big, 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 big. But as we come towards the end of the episode, it's back. It's time for the Outbreak Questionarium. Today's question for the Outbreak Questionarium is, who has scored more goals in the Rocket League videos, parts one and two, the ones released as of this date of recording. Is it Franny or Freddy? Find out after the break.
Oh, fucking hell, Franny. Oh, this is really annoying me. Oh, <laughs> you played it towards our goal. That was your touch as well, wasn't it? It was a tactical play towards our goal. It That's was it. Great was finish. it now? Oh. Hate those, hate those. What oh, a save saying. that is. Bro! <laughs> John! John. <laughs> How did that go in? Get in there, my son. Oh, yeah. what a finish. There's your tapping. And you fucking missed it. <laughs> yeah. You deal with that. Run, 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 run. I'm gonna steal that, thank you. You dickhead. For a second, I could do nothing but drive in a circle. No. Why? I don't know. No. I'm going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. So the question for today's Outbreak Questionarium was Who scored the most goals in the Rocket League videos? If you said Francis Jeffers, get fucked, he doesn't even have a job. The correct answer is... Danny Kadamatri. Welcome back, motherfuckers. Now, Rooney, uh, in his last five games, has averaged a seven, so I don't really want to take him out. But I do want to give Duckworth a run. So I am going to. Duckworth can come in. He's already familiar with these tactics, which is great. Uh, his recent run says 7.24, which looks good as well. And he's very comfortable as an attacking fullback. All excellent signs. Will, despite a good last game, is going to come back out uh, for Joe Maguire. Um, Whiteman, Atkinson. I'm going to bring O'Hanlon in. Whelan didn't set the game alight. Lawless, my coaches think he's better. He's just not done anything for me. I know his... Uh, his stats kind of line up with O'Hanlon's, but I just feel like O'Hanlon, every time O'Hanlon gets the ball, I feel like he might do something. I don't feel that way with Lawless. So he will come out. Uh, Kyle Kopp had a steady game. Aidan Connor can come back in since he's on such good form. Little and Piggott. Piggott's getting goals, but I've promised Jake Cassidy a run of games, and I'm going to give it to him. He isn't really lighting the world on fire, but if he continues not to, then I have a good excuse to not play him anymore. <laughs> But I'll give him this chance. Away against York. Tough game. Um, hopefully we can win it. Please, 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 please. Go give a squad number for Duckworth. For told Vera. For told Jack. Um, none of these are exactly a right back's number. Could go with five. Nah. Um, 26. No, no, no. No. Uh, you can have... Yeah, 26. <laughs> Oh, we're heavy favourites to win this. Okay, I need to... Uh, um, fuck off, Brady, you do that. I need to make that clear in my team talk that we are heavy favourites, passionate. Uh, actually, I'll say that. We've got a chance to go top, but only if we beat them, like, 12-0. Maybe that's maybe that's why they didn't react to that, because they, 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 they can do maths. Um, not a great team talk, that, but hopefully the game will go to plan. White man. <laughs> Davies with a free kick for them. Don't foul anyone. Good. Brown's going to chase that and win it. White man chases him down. That's oh, that's poor O'Hanlon. Got to get rid of it better than that. Oh, that bounced around a little. It's going to be a corner. I think it deflected wide off um, Sonny. Come on. So I'll win this. No. Oh, my days. That cleared off a line? That looked like it was cleared off a line. But I think Atkinson in there. Okay, so not a great start. <laughs> but we haven't conceded, that's the important thing. So this uh, it's showing this one rather than the corner. I'd rather have seen the other one, to be honest. Um, to see if that was cleared off the line. But we're going to see this one. I don't know that I did deflect, you know. I think it's just a shit shot. So we've been outplayed in this game so far. But we're coming towards half time and we look like we're going to have a highlight. Here's Cassidy. They get a lot of men back, don't they? Atkinson, play it forward, mate. Play it for... Oh, Duckworth's in a good position. Can you beat your man? No, you're not even going to try. Don't lose the ball, though. Well, there's a lot of men around. Do not lose it, please. Play it to Magoma. Now play it across to Sonny. Good. That's a long ball. That's a great long ball, though. Here's Andy Little. He's taking it down. Can he get it across? He can. Cassidy finish. Yes! Had a go at him. Gave him essentially an ultimatum, and he's fucking banged one in. And, uh, yep, you know what I'm going to do. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do. Just going to drop these boys onto support. 
Oh, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. So a great ball from Sonny Bradley. Andy Little brings it down. Pulls it behind the defender. Excellent stuff. Finish from Cassidy is very good indeed. Something he hasn't done enough of since I signed him. But if he can go on a run now of scoring goals, then all will be forgiven. It's going to be a highlight before the end of the half. Can Maguire win that? Yes, he can. Can Cassidy win that? No. Looks like it's going to be their attack then. Here's Brown. McAllister. Oh, Helen, can he win it? No, he can't. Is Davis. Brown running at Maguire. Can he block it? Yes, excellent. Connolly. Three on two, if they work this right. Three on three now. Cassidy, can you find little thread the ball? Is that offside? That looked offside. It's not been given as offside. It's two fucking nil. A goal and an assist for Cassidy in the first half after I had a go at him. And a little finishes though, as he just does, doesn't he? This looked offside though for me. Um, oh, that is tight with the Sarah left back. That's tight in terms of whether he was online or not. I don't think he was, you know. But I'll take it. And I will passionately tell... No, I won't. I will calmly tell them not to get complacent. And I will passionately tell my strikers that they've been fucking awesome. Because they have. A goal and an assist each for both my strikers. They've set each other's goals up. Which is excellent stuff. But here come they. Here's Ice Cream. Here's <laughs> Ferguson. Have I got that wrong? Is, is there an ice cream that's called Dick? Something like that? I don't know. I don't know. I should I should prepare my jokes instead of trying to think I'm on the spot. I'm not witty enough. Here's White Man. Oh, Hanlon. Vera Duckworth. Come on, get a good crossing, mate. That's kind of poor, but a bit too deep. And are they going to counter? No, they're not. Here's Maguire. What can you do with the ball? Stand still and then jog. Here's Little, though. Can you feed Cassidy? Oh, Hanlon's there. Maguire's got space. Cross it. Good cross. Cassidy's there for a second. He's having the game of his fucking York City career right when he fucking needed it. Doubled his goal tally for the club uh, in one afternoon. In less than an hour, actually, of, of an afternoon. Good play from Maguire to get towards the byline. Great ball across in the corridor of uncertainty and tapped home by the very impressive today, Jake Cassidy. Very happy with this. So now that we're 3-0 away from home, uh, these guys can drop onto defensive fullback, the pair of you. Um, any subs required at this time? Not really. I'll just leave it as that. Davies with a free kick for them, though. Can they get one back? North flicks it on. Easy for Madison. Easy. Easy work. Light work. Now, I have put on distribute quickly, but he never does. Does anyone else use distribute quickly? Does it actually work for you? Because it never does for me. Maybe you need to have you know, a keeper who's better with the ball. Because, you know, I'm League 2. So he isn't especially. But here's Cassidy, Atkinson, played ball behind him, not great. What can he do with it though? He can beat his man and get it to Little. Here's Connolly. Atkinson continued his running, someone can find him, too late. Connolly finds Cassidy on a hat trick. Oh, he's put it wide. Another chance for them, Davis with a free kick. Headed away by White Man. Don't know where uh don't know where Madison was going there, but never mind. Here's Magoma. Johnny clears, not very well though, but White Man cuts it out. Here's Connolly. Cassidy, make a run ahead of him. Make a run ahead of him. Don't go behind him. Make a run beyond the defenders. See if he can find you now. See, you took too long over that, mate. You took too long. Atkinson going to retrieve that? No, he's not. His uh, ice cream. I think it's ice cream, is it? I'm going to have to look it up. Did you all know in it? One second. D don't score while I'm looking this up, please. Oh, it's pizza. Of course it's pizza. I knew it was some kind of food. I'd seen it in supermarkets. Never mind. Leave me alone. Shut up. <laughs> Here's Bennett. Thanks for not scoring while I was away. Here's Ferguson. North. Oh, good finish. The back in it. Uh, I'm going to switch us to structured. Still standard, though. I don't think they're going to... Oh, don't say things like that. Just leave that there. Okay, here's Pizza. We now know. Coming down the left for them. Here's McAllister. There's still 20 minutes left here. They could mount a comeback. Why did I say what I almost just said? Maguire gets that good man. Not really anywhere to clear it to though. His suit. I'm not even going to bother left back. His ice cream. That's a poor ball though. Madison should get that good. So not quite sure what this highlight's going to be. Is it because that cross is on target? It's going to count as a shot. I don't know. Madison distributing quickly as ever though. <laughs> can Cassidy win the ball? Oh, he can. Get to that. Yes. Okay. Good man. Oh, Hanlon. Connolly. What can we work here? Atkinson. Bit of space for Little. Little bangs one. 
Now, that we'll find out in three dimensions. That was either an excellent strike or woeful goalkeeping or a bit of both. Connolly finds Atkinson. Little has a bit of space. Takes a touch. Has a bang. It's woeful goalkeeping. He should be saving that. He should be tipping that over the bar. Or maybe just standing and catching it, to be honest. 4 1 now. Substitutes time. Uh, who can do with the rest? Uh, white man can do with the rest. Co uh, Clovis uh, can come on. 8.4. Excellent game, son. Excellent game. Uh, lots of excellent games in here. The defenders' games have been hurt a little bit by their goal. They were higher than this before that. But all around, superb. Um, Sonny Bradley can have a rest. He's been outstanding recently. Don't want him getting injured. Just realised that I put Clovis on for um, Atkinson instead of Whiteman. So I'll just swap those two around and then we'll bring on Callum Whelan for, for Whiteman. Oh, I'll passionately tell them I have faith because they all get on well with me. And so they'll all react well. Apart from maybe Callum because I don't play him much. Nope, even him. They all love me. Because Adu loves Yorkshire. And that will be that. 4-1 win away from home to cap off an episode. The first win on camera in a long time, actually. Or can it be five? And a little shoot. No, that'll be it. We're over a minute past the injury time. Maybe someone did get injured in that time. Was that was that what was on the screen at the bottom? I wasn't paying too much attention, sorry. Um, Connolly. Got another shot. Have a bang. Oh. But yes, the main thing I was worried about heading into this game was the fact that both my strikers have been on poor form. And in this game, they've scored two each and got an assist each. And uh, both been rated 9.3. So that literally, well, no, not literally, because it could have been 4-0 or 5-0. But that figuratively could not have gone any better. Fantastic stuff. Where are we in the league? Still third, but in a very good position. Um, seventh is the last playoff spot. It's, it's really tight here, but we do ha now have a bit of a cushion between ourselves and that. So hopefully we can. Oh wait, <gasps> I forgot about the game in hand. If we win our next game, we're top of the league. Join me next time to find out if that happens, or if I'll be somewhere down here. Could literally, with the way we've been playing lately, it could be either. So yeah, join me next time if you've liked this video. Hit like, if you haven't, go to the comments, tell me why not. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe and you'll see plenty coming up on the Waste of Talent channel in the very near future. ta -ra.